usually think of magic as the fast and easy way to get the job done. But when stealing money or swords out of a bank account, it looks like the muggle, non-magical way is surprisingly easier. Harry and his friends had to mix a potion that makes you look like another person, steal a wand, cast a curse that makes another person do as you tell them, face a terrifying dragon and more. But some mobile malware only require the victim to click allow and the money is transferred from their bank account to the attackers. We found the following mobile app in Google Play under the name Peg Cashback after a Brazilian banking service. Like many novel banking trojans, it abuses Android's accessibility services built to assist users with disabilities in using Android devices and apps by providing alternative interfaces to interact with the device. However, when a victim is lured by malware into enabling this service, it turns into a weapon, granting the application ability to access anything a regular user can access and perform any action a user can do on an Android device through an API, meaning that the user will not necessarily know what the attacker is doing. So here's how it works. The victim downloads the app from Google Play. They then open the app and click Approve, as we always do, in this case, activating accessibility services. A message then pops, asking to open the bank's app. The real bank, that is, not the malicious one. The user opens the app and types in their credentials. Then, the malware exploits the accessibility services to click the icon that makes the app retrieve the balance in the victim's bank account. Again, using the accessibility services, the malware fetches that number and saves it as a variable called value in the memory. The malware shows an overlay screen claiming the bank's app is syncing while actually just passing some time to let the malware transfer the funds. During this time, the malware uses the accessibility services to search for a button called transfer. It clicks it, then enters the value variable, which holds the account balance, meaning that it's about to empty the victim's account entirely. As the receiver of the money, it enters the attacker's hard-coded Brazilian ID number. And that's it. All the victim's money has been transferred to the attacker. The beauty of this technique is that it allows the malware to be a very small application, not doing many suspicious activities, not even communicating with the CNC, thus flying under the radar. Well, the virus total radar with zero hits, but not our radar, obviously. <laughs>